everything caught up. <laughs> so, I'm gonna start off by going in here. Uh, I did rename our Reaper and Skirmisher and our inherited uh, I've got to hand it to the aliens. The invasion was one thing. He really likes interrupting me. They had the drop on us for sure. But Advent, there's something we could never have prepared for, even with better gear. Between the propaganda, the handouts, and the seemingly endless supply of reinforcing peacekeepers, they're nothing but trouble for an upstart resistance movement. Okay, so we're gonna confirm bond here. These two have been working together. And Jared got an upgrade. So he's got teamwork there, and he's got um, the extra mobility and health, I believe, from those last two special ops. Um, but yeah, I've got, so we've got Jane and Chris and Danny. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, that'll work out. <laughs> Uh, I do have a lot more volunteers now. I think we should be just about right. Um, I know we've got like a mission here. Let's see, it was a resistance up. Yep. But we're going to get another one who I'm going to rename. And then uh, should be um, potentially there's. Oh, wait, no, those recruits are gone. Never mind. Either way, we have the potential to get more recruits, and I already have some pre-built, so hopefully it'll stop doing this and do more of that. We'll see. Uh, so it looks like this is a horde, so tons of lost. We're gonna go with a noose team here. Since we do have some uh, people here we can use. This is listed as a moderate difficulty, but I do want to keep bringing in... I guess we've got all at least squaddies. Okay. So I'm going to go Tony. He wanted to do pistol build, so this will be good for that. I mean, he hasn't done it yet, but yeah. I'm gonna do Paul. Let's see, they've got a Sharpshooter, Grundeer, Reaper. I guess let's do Chris for our specialist. <laughs> uh, the standard coloration on Jane was, or had some yellow on it, so I wanted to see if I could make that work. Uh, so far I'm going to say no, <laughs> although doing a special, doing a pattern or something might make it work. That's actually more tolerable a bit. Except for the part where uh, 
Or it looks like a giraffe. Team giraffe. Okay, we're gonna go with uh, Muton Armor. It at least mutes it a little bit. And then for... We'll do the same basic thing here. Let's see what was that. Still that. I'll have to double check, but it's easier that way. And it was Muton. That must not have been the same, but I actually like that better. edit on this. Customize. Okay. I like it. Let's get med kit. Um, nano scale. Nano scale, and gotta have a grenade there. That's all locked. Want a second med kit? Bad enough to sub something else out. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's give it a shot. scouting expedition led by one of their top people have found themselves stranded in the middle of an area known to be infested with the lost. They're holding their own for now, but it sounds like things are getting ugly down there. The resistance is asking that we do everything we can to extract their people. Okay, so this is going to be a rescue mission. We have to actually get to them and then get out. That'll be interesting. The 
Resistance expedition is trapped not far from your position, and the VIP is using a remote turret to hold off the loss. We only have one clear access point to the area, so get to the target's location and escort them back to the entry point for extraction. The whole place is overrun with lost. Don't bother trying to outgun them. After you secure the expedition, you'll have to return to our original entry point for extraction. Don't get overrun. Keep the path back to Firebrand clear. Okay. So I think... <coughs> I think what we're gonna do... is actually... Let's see if we can have Paul go up to like here, looks like. Already there! Yep. Just trying to find the easiest path to get through. We can get a clear path back, also. Um... On it. Well, Chris, run up here to check that out. Not seeing anything. Not sure if there's a path there that's worth looking at either. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and just do a standard move here. On the move. Oh good, he discovered them on our turn. Okay, well, it begins. <laughs> so we're going to start with using Paul. Higher health ones. Target down. Also neutralized. Weapons burn and ammo fast. I was hoping to get it w at least one more down. Okay. Rolling. I can see that happening. <laughs> really? That's a guarantee. I'm having, doing that one first because it's a... Uh, um, guaranteed kill. He's got a range of damage of 2-2-3. Two, two, 
with a pistol. If you can pull out threes on all these, we're good. That was my guess. Keep moving forward. I will reposition. Jane, move up. And she's got a 50 50 shot of maintaining. For the Reapers! Oh, she's revealed. Now we fight in the open. I must reload. We'll just let her reload while we've got a free action. Possibly not a good shot. I know there's one more over there, but I don't think we're going to be able to... I guess I'll throw a pistol overwatch just to cover it. And we'll have Paul move up, reload. Um, we're actually almost there. I'm just gonna go ahead and have Chris move up. far up can we get here? Rolling. Good copy, moving on target. I mean, I guess if I get up here, there's a chance. I think that'll just trigger so we can have them start moving back. VIP is secure, Commander. If we can spare the manpower, we should try to bring the escort in as well. But without the VIP manning the turret controls, there's nothing keeping the Lost from overrunning this area. They're already closing in. Whoops. Great. Well, that may have been a mistake. Um... Yes, I think I'm just going to move everybody up so that we can put some real pressure on for next time. Just dash away it's up. <laughs> and hunger down. There's going to be a bunch of lost in this area for this turn because it's both a trigger from the story and a swarm. So hopefully... I'm hit. I'm hit. I don't know how much... I, I think this is the first time I've really had a lot of pressure. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. 
We're picking up more heat signatures than the sensors can keep up with. Return to your gods! My ammunition is nearly depleted. Moving! Dasher. Get rid of the two health first. Looks like he does not actually have a shot on the three health one. So we're gonna wait. Uh, Chris. Gonna make me question the targeting on this. On the move! Probably should have shot with him first. If I'm thinking about it. Nice. Enemy eliminated. Affirmative, covering now. I won't let them pass. Reload. Since there's a... He's the furthest out right now. Oh. He was still in blue. So there's our swarm. That was not really what I wanted you to do, Tony. There's a guy right there. You're supposed to shoot him. Well, that's... Pretty good. Unfortunately. Oh my gosh. Even more. Yep. We gotta get out of here. Something about this mi about these lost missions that I really enjoy. Like I would be, it's it's a nice slight change of pace to the rest of the alien fire. missions. Okay, so let's make sure I'm remembering, getting my directions right. We want to go back here. We don't care as much about noise anymore. Um, I also don't know how much... Okay, so we're gonna have... VIP go back here. First. Chris is gonna mimic Solid that. Copy. Looks like Jane's out of ammo. I'm actually gonna have her move back you. and reload. Loading fresh ammo. Gonna have Tony.
We're gonna take this risk. It's down. Okay. That one, he's not gonna be able to take out in one shot. Two health. That is another two health. Okay. I am gonna move him back at least this far. Confirmed. And then we're gonna go down the line and start. Yeah. That's why I moved him first. <laughs> okay. We just had a horde trigger. So I'm gonna have Paul just do that. Basically take out one side where I know, I mean that's four kids. I thought we just had a swarm up here. Okay then. That may have been a mistake. <laughs> I can admit when I make a mistake. <laughs> and that may have been a mistake. But they're all coming from one side at least. percent to health enemy destroyed 100% one health kill confirmed Tony's actually the one who suggested to me of doing this uh, pistol build so Definitely glad to see it's being of use. <laughs> Position confirmed. Moving to designated okay, so position. we're gonna have both of them move back. I'm gonna have Paul start with the ones that have higher health. A little bit lower chance, but still good enough. That's a no. That is not good. Near resupply. Okay, I'm gonna have mm. Okay, I guess I'll have Tony start it off. If Tony can succeed on all these, no longer yeah, a threat. those are the two main ones I was worried about. Um, I'll go for this long shot since it is another two health. Good riddance. We'll have. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have. Tony, shoot this one first. I know that won't kill, but now Jane should be able to finish it off. Yep. No one will mourn them. Before I move her back, 
which I will double check here. I'm gonna move my two who don't have standard actions first. Moving on target location. Make sure there's nothing bad back here. Volks, I'm gonna I'm have her move back and overwatch. Headed there now. Just in case somebody comes in and goes at these two. Another swarm. Apparently this mission is just swarm, 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 swarm once we get that point. That's not good. Menace one five, keep pushing towards the evac point. No matter what you do, you're never gonna make a dent in the lost. There's just too many coming in. Yep. Okay. So we're into our standard here. I think that's a two health, one hundred percent shot. Get that freebie, Target basically. Move back. Moving to designated coordinates. He's only got a shot at one of them, and it's got five health. Um, I'm still gonna take the shot because I don't care about him getting another action right now. <clears throat> what I do want is for Jane to kill that guy. Just off the mark. That's not good. Okay. I have no Order's ammunition. On the move. Rock and roll. They're about a turn behind, a turn or two behind even, at this point. Moving. We're gonna go ahead and move to a relatively safe spot and. So next turn is probably going to be a double move. Um. <laughs> Basically just try and outrun them. Paul's got full ammo. And Jane is out of ammo. So... How far can we get? Start here. Target down. Uh, Jane's just gonna full move. I can cover it. Already there. Firebrand is the VIP safely on board the Sky Ranger. I'm out of here. We've extracted the VIP's escort. Once we get him patched up, he should be ready to rejoin the fight. Heading there now. Okay. 
So the choice right now is this guy, who I'm assuming is a brute. Yeah. Paul's not going to be able to kill. Theoretically, if he hits here, Tony should be able to get 100% finish or, or to finish it and then double move out. Which I think is going to be our best course of action. Running dry on ammo. Target disabled. And there are now none in range. Copy that. Double move. That should be it. So Paul's in a spot where even if one or two can get to him, it's just gonna be like one. And they're not gonna block his path. Except that one, apparently. Got some damage here. Okay. Can Paul make it full sprint this turn? No. He's just gonna get hit at least one more time. I'm on the move. Or get attacked at least one more time, rather. Um. Let's see. He should be able to finish this one, or to take this one out. Target neutralized. And then I'll have him Getting heal himself. Arm. I don't think any of the others are gonna have a clear path to him. So I'm gonna go ahead and have them clear out. You know what? I'm just gonna have a reload. Just in case things go completely pear shaped here. I'm gonna have Tony take that shot because free Nailed XP. Him. Rock and roll. He's right there. We're probably good. I just want to make sure that a swarm doesn't come up from the other side. <laughs> if they keep coming from where they've been coming from, like they just did, we're good. If they came from behind us, we're in trouble, and then they could block the ball off. Quick check to see if he had any 100% any, uh, two healths he could do. Ready to boogie. I'm going. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. We that actually went pretty well. The expedition, Commander. The resistance will be happy to hear it. Couple wounds, but it could be way worse. Wait, who's the last? Is that like the mission commander guy that we rescued or something? Yeah, it is. We're gonna get rid of him.
Okay, we're gonna do that. That looks kind of awesome. Chris, do Chris do add attention here in the back. Again, I like this uh, way too much. <laughs> it's fun to play with. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay. And that team actually worked out pretty well for that type, type of mission. They're probably going to be one of our kind of uh, focus for the lost, potentially. We must never allow these dissidents to fill our hearts with fear. Their victory today is a minor footnote in history, a small bump on the path of salvation the elders have set forth for us. Okay. Sure know how to turn a planet into a Halloween theme park. Zombie swarms. Just what we needed. So a new squad, they're still building up cohesion. Uh, we are gonna go with Ooh, I really like long watch, but I am gonna keep or go with a uh, return fire here. just in case there are armored units that they have to deal with. And actually, Shredder pairs really well with uh, Tony, potentially, too. Okay, we recovered a VIP. Got a Ranger, Intel, Engineer. And they're not talking for some reason. I'll, I'll get the uh, new soldier taken care of here shortly. Oh. I forgot I hadn't seen that yet. Apparently I just did a weird little video thing for some reason. Oh, I can't wait till we get a sergeant so I can do get some squad size. Uh, no rookies available to prepare to train. Which I will probably be doing that during my next little downtime chunk as well. Um, There's been plenty of gripes about my flying, but I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. So I'm gonna leave this one alone for now, because I think more stuff is better stuff. That's 30 days. That may have been a mistake. <laughs> we'll pause that. Ten days. That's much more reasonable. 
We'll do this when we have more people to build. Maximum power consumption We need the reached. power relay finished before we can build anything else. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna pause both of those and be dumb. <laughs> and get the power relay up faster so we can do other stuff. That probably makes more sense. New orders, Commander. I want to double check real quick what I've got available. Uh, I do want an ultrasonic lure. I forgot to buy one of those earlier. Um. It's only 30. I think I've got enough. Yeah, I've got enough for both of those and then some. Let's just get these upgrades. While we're here, been digging through some of the old data files Central has been holding on to since before the war. Overgrown checkpoint. Okay. So we've got there is two. No shame in admitting my admiration for your resolve in the face of insurmountable odds. We've got two supply drops. Let's go ahead and do that. No in you, I see a shadow of my own creation. Um, I feel like we're actually doing okay right now as far as a lot of our features go. Um, I kind of would like to hit this black site and then move down to make contact there. Um, I'd really like to not waste eight days on either of those. I think I'm going to do this black market. Black market's always good to make contact with, just so we've got it. I don't think we have to do it again. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Upgrade slot to all cannons. That's nice. Okay. I guess we'll do plated armor next. Inspiration seems like a good thing to ride on. But we have to do it right now. I kind of would have preferred to do the autopsies, but I guess we can do those afterwards. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Um. Power relay now operational. So we're gonna grab that. We've got enough room now. I can either do another clearing alien debris there, or I can look at what else we can buy. We need a proving ground to get our next thing, so let's go ahead and do it. Oh, Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Okay, that gets us another two power, which is actually not enough to do much. I'll wait for now. I keep doing that because it's glowing. I know why it's glowing. I need to rename that person and everything first. And we get targets because Commander, it's going to interrupt the number of contacts every time. We've established we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Unfortunately, we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. Okay, so we're going to do this because I think risk of ambush on covert, covert actions. Uh, is one option here. The Chosen attempting to capture soldiers every time is probably going to be a problem. Setting course for the Arctic. So we'll do that. Uh, that'll be our next video.
I will pick up next time with that. So, I've been Rapegal, this has been XCOM 2. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, give me a like, subscribe, uh, share it with a friend. If you would like to be involved, uh, feel free to leave a comment as long or as well as if you have any questions or suggestions. And as always, have a good one.